Stephen A., I'll start with you. Which one do you consider the bigger loss here, the Giants losing Odell or the Texans with Watt? I consider J.J. Watt the bigger loss because the Giants weren't going to do anything anyway. They weren't going anywhere. They were 0-4. They were en route to 0-5 as far as I'm concerned. They were on a fast track to nowhere. No offensive line. No running game to speak of. A defense uh, that has dissipated before our very eyes. So in light of that, I don't consider Odell Beckham Jr. as, as tremendous as he is because of the team itself and where they were going. I don't consider the, him much of a loss. Whereas with J.J. Watt, I think this defense could have been formidable. They're 27th ranked right now. Bill LeBron's got to do something about that, but with Deshaun Watson and the rest of those crew doing their part, I do believe this defense had an opportunity to make some noise, and the loss of J.J. Watt is devastating, considering the fact also he's also their spiritual leader as well with all the things, all the great things that he's done as a man and as a human being. So I think it's a devastating loss for him more so than Odell. No argument there because of the leverage of J.J. Watt on a team that seems ready to win now if Deshaun Watson could somehow keep this up as a rookie. Uh, J.J. Watt is the bigger loss. But Odell is the dumber loss. I mean, I talked about this weeks ago. Even in the preseason, you when you hear about the injury, he may, he may miss week one. You know what a sprain is? A sprain is a microscopic fracture. There's a tiny little break there. And that's why once you hurt it, you're more likely to roll it again. And Odell Beckham has never been right this year. He's limping out there on one leg. You can see he's, he's a Affected by it. The Giants, as Stephen A said, were going nowhere. They have him returning kicks. They have, they're targeting him in a game that, like, even if they win, they're not going anywhere to why? To save the GM's job? I mean, it is it was idiotic to have Odell out there compromised. And right. what wound up happening? Exactly what I feared. He broke his leg. I mean, come on. This did not have to work out this way. It may have anyway, but they certainly increased the risk. A terrible move by the Giants, sacrificing Odell on the altar of absolutely nothing. Terrible.